In this video, we will look at how we can factor out the greatest common factor out of an expression. As we set this up, consider the expression a times b plus c. In the past, we have multiplied this by multiplying the a through, giving us a b plus a c. As we factor, we're attempting to multiply in reverse, going from the product to the factors that were multiplied to give us that product. As we do, the number out front turns out to be the greatest common factor of our expression. We will put the greatest common factor in front of the parentheses and divide each term by that greatest common factor. What's left goes in the parentheses. Notice in this example, both terms have an a in common that goes outside of the parentheses. When we factor out an a, we're left with the b and the c, or b plus c. Let's take a look at some examples that are a little more interesting, where we find the GCF and put it in front of the parentheses to factor. In this problem, we see that 9, 12, and 6 are all divisible by 3. All the terms also have an x, and the lowest exponent is squared. 3x squared is the greatest common factor, which will go in front of the parentheses. To find out what's left inside the parentheses, we will divide each term by 3x squared to see what we have left. Reducing the first fraction, 9 over 3 gives us 3x squared subtracting the exponents. Minus 12 divided by 3 is 4, x, when we subtract the exponents. Plus 6 divided by 3 is 2, and the x squareds divide out. We have now factored this expression to 3x squared times 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. Notice if we were to multiply the 3x squared back through the parentheses by distributing, we would get the original problem that we started with. Let's try another example, where we identify the greatest common factor and pull it in front of the parentheses. Looking at the numbers 21, 14, and 7, we see they are all divisible by 7. Also, every factor has an a. Using the lowest exponent, we write a squared. Every factor also has a b. Using the lowest exponent, we write b squared. This is what goes in front of the parentheses, and then we can divide each of these terms by that common factor, 7a squared, b squared, all the way across. As we do, and reduce those fractions, 21 over 7 gives us 3, a squared, b cubed, minus 14 over 7 gives us 2. Subtracting exponents leaves us with a, b to the 5th, plus 7 over 7 is 1, and the a's and b's divide out completely. Notice as we did this, just because the term divided out completely did not mean it disappeared. When things divide out, we're left with a 1, behind. This becomes our solution when we factor out the greatest common factor.